The Indian Army will showcase its robotic dogs at the Republic Day Parade 2025. A high-level Russian government delegation is currently en route to Algeria, to sign the first export deal for Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jets. National Board of Wildlife has given clearance for the construction of formation ammunition storage facility in Ladakh. Delhi-based DG Propulsion has successfully executed a vertical test run of its indigenous DG J-40 microjet engine, that has set the stage for manned jet pack systems. An Indian Navy official has stated, that the Rafale Marine significantly outclasses China's new modernized J-15B and J-15D carrier-based aircraft in all combat capabilities. Indian Navy warships along with aircraft from the Indian Air Force, participated in a maritime partnership exercise with the French Carrier Strike Group of India's Western Seaboard. A retired air marshal has sharply criticized the acquisition of 31 Predator drones by India, labeling them as costly toys that are unsuitable for operations in contested airspace. Maldives Defense Minister visited Goa shipyard, and held discussions with the senior management. Despite the lack of diplomatic relations, India is considering to engage in development projects in Afghanistan in the near future. The United States has approved proposals, enabling India to become the first foreign producer of the striker armored fighting vehicles, with the Indian Ministry of Defense considering 530 units for 10 mechanized infantry battalions. Initial off-the-shelf acquisitions will be done by the US Foreign Military Sales Framework, followed by co-production in India, and eventual co-development of variants, including the maneuver short-range air defense variant. After successfully completing ground trials of the Astra Mark III missile system, the DRDO is now preparing for air trials using the Su-30 as the testbed platform. The Astra Mark III will have two variants, that includes a 350 km range standard ramjet variant equipped with an ASA seeker, allowing precise target tracking and coordination with the WAX and launch platforms via a two-way data link. The second variant will be a booster-enhanced ramjet variant, that will help to achieve even greater ranges, targeting force multiplier-sized threats at extended distances. South Korea has marked the development of an indigenous jet engine for the KF-21 fighter jet as a national mission with an initial investment of approximately $2.2 billion, to reduce dependency on American F-414 engines. Experts have said, that India should emulate South Korea's model, and must leverage its experience gained from the cavalry program. India should also provide tax exemptions to the companies involved like South Korea, and must streamline bureaucratic processes to expedite project timelines, similar to how South Korea has managed the KF-21 project. The Indian Air Force is actively seeking to collaborate with domestic private sector companies to secure the future of its Mirage 2000 fleet, by focusing on the local manufacturing of spares for the Snikma M53 engine. With plans to maintain the Mirage fleet operational for another decade, the Air Force's strategy includes ensuring a steady supply of engine spares and wearables, which are essential for regular maintenance and operational readiness. Today's top 3 comments.